what slows rendering down and how can you make it faster? Ah! That's coming up next. Stay tuned. What's up, Survivalists? It's Jay from Team WNJ here. If you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and hit that bell icon to make sure you stay notified whenever I upload a new video on Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Make sure you leave a comment so I can remember who you are. Let's try to get this video up to 10 likes. On to the video. Now, a viewer of mine almost spent $550 on a GTX 1080 thinking it would speed up his render times. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. So to save you guys potentially hundreds and thousands of dollars and speed up your render times, I decided to make this video to explain exactly what rendering is. Now this is a very big subject, so I'm splitting this video up to three parts. This first part will focus on the hardware. This is your computer specs, what you need, what you don't, and how you can save some price and speed up your renders. The second part is gonna be on the technical side of things. So these are render settings, polygons, materials, and all that technical stuff. And the third and final part is about workflow because sometimes it's not the computer's problem, it's yours. Now, let's talk hardware. Now, the following are just gonna be the key things that you need to know about your hardware. The first one being your CPU. This stands for the Central Processing Unit. It is directly responsible for rendering and calculating things in your scene, as well as literally every other calculation your computer needs to make. If you're a hobbyist that doesn't want to spend too much, consider getting a high-end Intel i5 or a low-end i7. If you're a professional like myself, you would want to consider something like a high-end Intel i7. Or if you've got loads of money to wave around, consider even getting an i9. But that's only if you have the extra budget. As mentioned before, the CPU is directly responsible for rendering. So if you want faster render times, you want a better CPU. The second most important thing, and there's a major misconception here, is the GPU. This is your graphics processing unit. Now it's not as important as you think for rendering. The only thing the GPU controls is the viewport, and that's the space that you work in. It also gives you other features not directly related to animation, such as OpenCL, OpenGL, or CUDA acceleration. I'll explain in a bit. The key caveat here is that I'm only referring to Cinema 4D's standard and physical render. Yes, GPU rendering does exist, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's faster. GPU rendering requires external plugins such as Octane or Redshift. They are used to generate physically accurate results. The goal of GPU rendering is to make photorealistic results and it does not guarantee faster render times. Now I mentioned OpenGL, OpenCL, and CUDA acceleration earlier. What are they? Well, you wanna make sure that your GPU isn't too shitty. I've only used NVIDIA GPU, so I can guarantee you that you want a GPU that's at least a GTX 1050 or above. Here's what this GPU acceleration does for you. One, it allows you to do hardware renders, which means you can render your viewports within seconds, as opposed to waiting for the entire scene to render, which could take up to hours. Two, you have an enhanced viewport. This means that you can see your final scene without rendering with greater accuracy. It also potentially means you could render straight from the viewport if it looks good. Good enough. And third of all, it greatly assists with editing. So if you're gonna be using After Effects or Premiere Pro or even Photoshop or Lightroom to touch up your photos or renders afterwards, you want GPU acceleration just to make that process faster. The final bit of hardware that will affect your render times is RAM. This is your random access memory. Treat this like the short-term memory of your computer. It's very useful for calculating complex simulations such as fluid simulations or like a whole bunch of particles faster. What you don't wanna happen is have a really good CPU that can calculate everything super quickly, but then not have enough RAM to actually do all those calculations. I do not recommend anything lower than 16 gigabytes of RAM, but what you really wanna aim for is at least 32 gigabytes. Now let's put this all together and I'll let you know the spec of all three computers I own. Now keep in mind that these computers are decent, but they're not like super computer level. They work for me and I'm a professional, so take that as you will. My desktop back home in my house in Australia is custom built. It has an i7-7700 and a GTX 1060 with six gigabytes of VRAM. It also houses 32 gigabytes of RAM. I got this in 2017 for around 10,000 Hong Kong dollars. Convert that to your own currency. My new laptop that I'm working off of right now is a Lenovo Legion Y520. It has the same i7-7700, but has a GTX 1050 Ti as a GPU. It also houses 16 gigabytes of RAM. I got this one a few weeks ago for 7,500 Hong Kong dollars. Very good bang for buck. My oldest laptop that is not my Mac is some Asus notebook that is discontinued. 
Now, this one isn't that great. It has an i7-5500 and a GTX 940MX as a GPU. It houses only 8 gigabytes of RAM. This one is not capable of GPU acceleration, which is a pain to work with. This was bought in 2014 or 2015, not really sure, but it cost me around 8,000 Hong Kong dollars. You could probably pick this up for like a low, low, low price now, but please don't. Now I'm telling you all this information now because it's also going to be very useful when it comes to the third part of the series. And that's right, unfortunately I'm going to have to cut the video short because the past few videos have been three times as long as my average videos and it's been driving me nuts. So give me a break on this one, the next video will be talking about the technical aspects of rendering. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if there's anything else you want to know. With that said and done, I'll see you guys on Wednesdays. Cheers!